if after all the scores in a sample are each multiplied by 4, the mean is found to be 24. What was the mean of the original scores? Well, in this case, you'll need to understand that whatever happens to the scores, the same happens to the mean. This is easy to see if uh, we go through um, just a quick example. Let's do um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'll just put a really simple set of numbers. Now let's find the mean of these numbers. So in order to find the mean, let's call this a sample. So my sample mean is the sum of x over n. So I need to have my sum of x. And the sum of x for this set of scores, if you add these up, you get 15. I have five scores. And so my mean is going to be 15 over 5. The mean will be 3. Now uh, let's try multiplication, like what they're talking about here. They're each multiplied by 4. If I multiply each one of these by 4, so I've got 1 times 4, that's 4. 2 times 4, that's 8. 3 times 4, that's 12. 4 times 4 is 16. And 5 times 4 is 20. If I add these up, I'm going to get, if you add these up, I'm going to get 60. And I still have five scores. And so when you work out the mean, it's 60 divided by 5. This ends up being equals to 12. Now my mean was 3. Now my mean is 12. Each number is multiplied by 4. And so on. The difference between these is that 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. Whatever you do to the original scores, the same is going to end up happening to the mean, even if it was something like addition. Let's take each of our scores and add 2. So what I'm suggesting is that the original scores that had a mean of 3, the, th the mean will become 2 larger as well. It will become 5. Let's see that happen. So 1 plus 2 equals to 3, and so on. So 2, I'm going back to my original scores here and adding 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4. 3 plus 2 is 5. 4 plus 2 is 6. 5 plus 2 is 7. Add these up. Let's see, I get 3 plus 4, that's 7, plus another 5, gives me 12, plus 6 and 7, these make 13, so 12 plus 13 gives me a sum of x equals to 25. There are still 5 scores, and so the mean is going to be the sum of x, 25, over 5, that is 5. So as predicted, when I take a set of scores that had a mean of 3, and I add 2 to each one of the scores, it's important that you do the same thing to each one of the scores. That's when you can follow this rule of thumb. Whatever happens to the scores is what happens to the mean, as long as everything happens the same to each score. So if I add 2 to each one of my scores, I will end up just simply adding 2 to the mean. So the answer to our question was that the mean is multiplied by 4, it becomes 12, and so um, hmm, it would appear that, oh, I get it, I see, sorry. We have to sort of work backwards here. If all of the scores in a sample are each multiplied by 4, the mean ends up being found to be 24. What was the mean of the original scores? So we know that this is what happens after you multiply everything by 4. It is 4 times the original size of the mean. So f this is 4 times what? It's 4 times 6. The original mean must have been 6 because we multiplied every score in the sample by 4. That means that this would be 4 times larger, giving us 24. So the answer here is A.